Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming. Please keep your arms and legs inside the vehicle at all times. Prepare for a wild ride. Okay, so we've ended up kind of as expected, rather more popular than expected. And all of the extra hardware that we brought along just in case uh, has now gone and the room is fuller than I expected it to be. Um, which means that we're also slightly short of helpers. So if you are an experienced um, solderer, please uh, give a thought to helping people around you who may not have done it before. The objective was to have a ratio of about one helper for every two participants and a whole bunch of very experienced people have signed up as participants and you know who you are. So, <laughs> um, so please help out. So what's going to happen today? Uh, we have the morning assembly session which will go up until lunchtime. There will be some little checkpoints. One thing we've learned from previous attempts of running this is that it's impossible to keep everybody in sync. So the simplest thing to do is to let people go at their own pace and work on things on a case-by-case -case basis. So the idea is that you will get direct help rather than someone up the front standing here saying, and now we're going to solder in this part and have everybody do it. It's better to just make it up as we go along. Seems chaotic, but it seems to work. Uh, so what we're going to rely on are the experienced people to act as helpers to provide some instruction and, um, and uh, help it all go smoothly. After lunch there will be a session where um, Andy and Luke will talk about some of the fun things you can do with, um, with the board that you will build over the next hour and a bit um, using some example software that Andy wrote all night. Um, I, left, I left him... <laughs> I left him at about two o'clock this morning and he said I'm just gonna you know do this last little thing. And I came back this morning uh, ready for breakfast and he hadn't moved. So <laughs> kudos to Andy. Um, and then we've got a number of talks so that looks like it should be really interesting. We've got some good topics this afternoon. Uh, oh yeah, and lightning talks at the end of the day. We've kept a session aside for t people to get up and talk for a couple of minutes about a project or some random thing related to open hardware or Arduino. So if you have an idea for something, for like a four or five minute talk, sometime during the day, um, come up and speak to Andy or myself and we'll make a note of it. And then at the end of the day, we'll run through a series of really brief talks. So, safety. This is not a very interesting picture. It's just a picture of my hand. And because of the lack of contrast, and you can't see a thing on the projector. That's even worse than my screen. Um, you can we can? Oh well. Um, luckily, I highlighted the relevant part. This is a little warning. Um, that is a little solder burn that's on the side of my hand that I got when I was about 12 years old. This is just to highlight some of the dangers involved here. Um, now, it's a little bit of a weird shape. It looks like a Klingon bird of war, yeah, bird of war or whatever they're called. Better pray. The reason for that, yeah, I'm not a true geek. <laughs> the reason for that was, um, you know, I was soldering away and I tapped the soldering iron, got a flick of solder on my hand and went, oh crap, and flicked it, and the streaks of solder ran down my hand, and that's why it's got the streaks burned down the side. So beware, solder burns. So safety, no burns please. And remember, it's not just the soldering irons that get hot. You take the soldering iron off joint that you've just made, that joint is at 300 degrees, so don't touch it. A couple of times I've soldered something and then put the soldering iron down, picked up the object and gone, oh, hot. So don't forget that other things stay hot as well. Also, this is a pretty big room. We shouldn't have too much of a problem with fumes, but just try not to breathe them too much. <laughs> if you spend a lot of time doing uh, assembly, you'll have fume extractors and things like that. Uh, for the short time that we're going to be in here today, it'll be okay. Hopefully nobody will keel over, um, but just don't try inhaling them deliberately. And the other thing is careful of your eyes. Uh, when you come to clipping parts off the PCB, the little pins can go shooting off and they're like little needles. So if you're looking down carefully and clipping it and it goes sprawling, you can have a problem. And the other thing is quite apart from that, we don't want the venue to have a clean up problem afterwards. So don't just chop leads and leave them flying all over the floor because they get stuck in the carpet and they don't come up in the vacuum cleaner and they stick in people's shoes and things. It's not good. So please avoid that. Oh yeah, lightning talks. I mentioned that. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, I should mention. Um, last year, this is a confession time, we had a bit of a competition. I said, come up with an idea for a shield and we'll vote on it and we will fabricate the best idea. And 
12 months later, I'm ashamed to say that I'm standing here with no shield. And the winner was a, an intelligent battery charger shield, which is very, very cool, and I've been really wanting to do it, but we just haven't um, quite got to it yet. In fact, Mark has a workbench full of parts and uh, a notepad full of diagrams and things like that. He's really enthusiastic about this because he's into uh, remote control helicopters and other things and cares about charging batteries a lot. So um, he's on the case and hopefully very soon he will um, help me stop failing. And, oh yeah, telemetrum fixes. Uh, B-Dale is down here, it's dark and I can't see down the back there somewhere. Um, I think there are a couple of people that got telemetrums at a previous LCA and B-Dale is here to do um, a little update to it. So if you have your telemetrum with you, he will do that. We have a microscope and hot air rear workstation and all sorts of fun stuff so he can work his magic. Um, so to get started, there are instructions on the wiki. So. It's going to be a little bit awkward with laptops and things on the tables, but unfortunately that's what we've got to do. Um, the, if you go to arduinominiconf.org, I will pull this up in just a moment so you can see it as well, and scroll down you'll see a link to the build instructions for the Pebble or the instructions for the Kitten, and the Kitten itself has printed instructions in the, button, in the bag as well, so um, that's handy. And so that's it for now. I'll probably do some little updates along the way. Any of the other organisers think of anything I've missed? No? So you have to see if anyone's feeling like they immediately need help. That's it, that's okay. So if anyone feels like they need help, um, you know, right, to, just to get started, you're not really sure what's going on, um, stick up your hand. You, you need help. <laughs> <laughs> And, and um, we'll arrange for someone to come and, uh, and get you through the, the first, over the first hurdle and get you going. Oh yeah, that's right. And um, so if you rush through it all and you get all the hardware assembled, then the next step is to get on to downloading the IDE if you don't have it already on your computer. So um, we're hoping that by the end of this session we'll have everybody with hardware assembled. And I, oh yes, a few people. Okay, there are several people who have it on a USB stick for all platforms. So rather than sucking up bandwidth, you can come up to the front and we'll find someone that's got it. Or if you can't get on. Oh yes, that's right. The, I was one of the organisers mentioned to me earlier. Wi-Fi in here is a little bit flaky. They are working on it. But down in the floor where the power points are, there are RJ45 jacks. Those are all live and online right now. So if you've got a cable and plug in, you'll get into tubes. Also, if someone doesn't have oh, yeah. instructions at all, I can borrow this one. If someone doesn't have instructions at all, we can help out with lending an iPad or a laptop or whatever. We've got a spare soldering station. And there's a spare soldering station. So, final thing is we need to make sure everybody's got the tools they need. Okay, thank you.